Hi, third grade. This is Mrs. Renelay. Today we are going to be focusing on a question. Our question is, how do we know if a story is a folk tale? A folk tale is a short story that has been passed down from generation to generation. You have been reading lots of different kinds of folk tales on Mayan. You've also watched some YouTube videos of different kinds of folk tales. In third grade this year, we will focus on fables and tall tales as we keep learning. So how do we know if a story is a folk tale? Here are some things that make a folk tale a folk tale. They are oral stories. That means they've been told from person to person, not always written down. Folk tales are passed down through generations. Stories that happened a long time ago, we are still talking about today. Folk tales can be found in all cultures and they are retold by various authors around the world. Folk tales are timeless and placeless. That means we don't really know when they happened or where they happened, but we know the story took place because it's been passed down from person to person in our families. Today, I'm going to model how to read a folktale and then complete a seesaw task. This is a fable I borrowed from Mayan. It's called The Country Mouse and the City Mouse. What is a fable? A fable is a type of folktale. A fable is a story that teaches a lesson. In some fables, animals may talk and act the way people do. A Greek slave named Aesop created some of the world's favorite fables. Aesop's fables have been enjoyed by readers for more than 2,000 years. The country mouse and the city mouse had been friends for many years. One day, the country mouse invited the city mouse to dinner. The country mouse opened his heart and his pantry. He prepared a dinner of plain country food to please his guest. The city mouse just nibbled at the corn, barley, and peas. He didn't like the simple dinner. He was used to eating fancier things. He talked about how good life was in the city. My dear friend, the city mouse said, aren't you bored here in the country? We have everything in the city. Why don't you come home with me and enjoy the good life? The country mouse quickly agreed. The two friends set off for the city. They arrived at the city mouse's big house. He offered a feast of beans, cheese, fruit, and figs. The country mouse was amazed. He also was ashamed to be so poor. The two friends were about to eat when they heard a cat meow and scratch at the door. Run, cried the frightened city mouse. The mice ran to hide in a crack. A long time later, the two friends crept back to the table. Just as the mice began eating some figs, the servants came to clear the plates. 
the mice dashed to hide in dark holes. When it was quiet, the mice came out. Thank you and goodbye, said the country mouse. I'm going home. I'd rather live a simple life in peace than a rich life in fear. That is our folktale for today. I'm going to show you our seesaw task so that you can complete it on your own. Click add a response. After you choose your folktale, you will complete this organizer. Our question today, how do we know if a story is a folktale? Student name, type your name here. Folktale evidence, hmm. How do I know that this book is a folktale? Let's go back to the criteria. Folktales are oral stories. They're passed down through generations. They're found in all cultures. They are retold by various authors from different cultures. They're timeless and placeless. Okay, well, I know that the country mouse and the city mouse has been passed down through generations. And I don't really know when this story happened. I know that there's a setting in the book, but the story doesn't really tell me a time. So I have chosen my evidence. I'm going to say the story is timeless because I don't really know when it happened and it is passed down through generations. There, now I have some evidence on why this story is a folktale. Next is the setting. Hmm, setting is where a story takes place. So I know that the mice are in the country and the city. So I know they go to the country house and then they go to the city house. Next is my characters. Who are my characters? Well, the characters are the country mouse and the city mouse. You know what, boys and girls? I just realized I put my name in the wrong spot. Right here is the title of the folktale. That's the name of our book. Country Mouse and the City Mouse. There we go, that's better. And last, we have the lesson. The lesson is, what did we learn from this book? Or, what did the characters learn? Hmm, when I go back to my text, I'm thinking about the end of the story. I'm thinking about what the country mouse said at the end. He says, thank you and goodbye. I'm going home. I'd rather live a simple life in peace than a rich life in fear. Hmm. So I wonder what the country mouse learned. I would say the country mouse learned it is better to be poor and have peace 
than to be rich and be afraid. I got this idea from the book. I noticed something that the character says at the end. He doesn't want to live in the rich city house and always be running. He would rather go back home to his country home where he can live in peace. Third grade, this is how you will complete your task on Seesaw. Make sure you choose a folktale that you really want to read on Mayan so that you can complete all of these items here. When you are finished, make sure you submit with a green check mark. Thanks for watching.